Learning the details about a house explosion in Michigan that killed an Arkansas family. It happened over the weekend, leveling the house. Reports say the explosion could be heard from miles away. Tonight, THR 11's Ashley Godwin tells us more about the family through the words of some of their close Arkansas friends and colleagues. They were really some of the best and brightest people I've ever known. Don and Hope Bragg have lived in Arkansas for decades, working in forestry and agriculture. Don worked in the forestry division and spent some of his work at the University of Arkansas at Monticello. He was one of the best science writers I've ever encountered. And Hope worked in 4-H helping kids gain a passion for science and nature. She never didn't have a smile on her face. It, she was so contagious in her smile. Both accomplished in their respective fields, but what loved ones say was their biggest pride and joy, their kids, Kenny, Beth, and Stephen. But they really were everything a family should aspire to be. They were brilliant, hardworking, loving, and, and supportive of each other. On Saturday, Michigan officials responded to a house explosion around 4 p.m. Reports say that the explosion could be heard miles away and debris was found spread across the area. The Bragg family was visiting Hope's father, 72-year-old Richard Pruden, for the holidays. They were at his house and in the process of renovating it. Don, Hope, and their kids, Kenny and Beth, died in the explosion. Their youngest son, Stephen, and Hope's father are in the hospital. After they finished their careers, they were both from that area and had aspired to, to retire. Now the Arkansas community is mourning the loss. The University of Arkansas at Monticello and the 4-H Center are hoping to honor the Bragg family with memorials and a scholarship. They really were some of the best people I've ever known. We will miss her every day. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Ashley, thank you. Investigators in Michigan are blaming a fuel explosion for the blast, at least initially, and police believe there's no foul play involved.